Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing decoding function problem number one that is based on maximum likelihood technique. Welcome back friends, let us discuss problem number one on decoding function maximum likelihood technique. What we did till now, we found out encoding function that means E00 and we found out what is the encoding function for E00, E01, E10, E11. Now we are going to do the reverse thing. Here we need to decode it. The sequence is already given to us. We need to decode it. We need to do the reverse process. B square tends to B raised to 5. This is known to us previously and we used to find out this. Now B raised to 5 is given and we need to check for which B square this you can relate this decoding function to which b square. So this is my aim. I need to check 410. What is the encoding function for this particular uh, deco uh, the, for this particular sequence? So it may be 00, it may be 01, it may be 10, or it may be 11. So this is what I need to check. So let us start. It's very simple again. First of all, you need to make the table. And on, on the top of the table, it will always start with all the zeros. And how many zeros? See, b raised to 5. So therefore, therefore, it will be 5 zeros. We just need to write it on the uh, function as it is, which are given in the problem. So it's given in the problem, encoding function. So we're just going to copy as it is. If it is not given, then we need to find it out by the procedure which we did, did in the previous video. So uh, just uh, uh, ignore it. Just focus on this, what we're doing. In the next video, we'll discuss that possibility also. So what I'm saying is we just need to copy the codes which are given as it is. The next is 10101 and 11011. After that, see the procedure. First of all, write it on one year, remaining all zeros. Then this shift this one to left hand side, one place left hand side. So this one will come here and this will be continued. Again, one will be shifted. Again. And finally, this one will come to the first place. So this is the procedure one and we're going to shift one to the left hand side till the time it reaches to the first place. What next? We need to find it out XOR. This XOR this, this XOR this and so on. We need to go ahead. We need to repeat this procedure and we need to fill this table. So let us do it. Let's find XOR of these two terms. So that is 0, 1, 1 and 1. Next 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 and 0. Next. See, only this place will be affected. So the code will be as it is only this place. So this is one, this is one that will become zero. Rest everything will remain same. Next, one, zero, one. Only this place will be affected. That was one. We need to take XOR. So this one and this one will become zero. Rest everything will remain same. Next, XOR of these two terms. That means only the middle term. So this is one. And here it is 1. So that is 0. Rest everything will remain same. So 0, 1, 1, 0. Next. Here it is 1. Here it is 1. So therefore 0. Everything is same. Next. 1 will come here. That means all 5, 1. Next. Only this bit will be changed. So this is 1. This is 1. Will become 0. Rest everything will be same. Next. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Next. 10011. You can please rectify by yourself. Only the first bit. So 10 is 1, rest everything will remain the same because here all are 0. So this will remain as it is. Next. Again 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 1. So this is your XOR table. We are ready with the XOR table. Let us start. Now, what is the next thing? Next thing you need to find it out this particular sequence in the given table and underline it. So let us find it out. 4, 1 and 0. So where is 4, 1, 0? See here. You check in the table and underline it. Next, 1, double, 0, double, 1. And finally, the last code is 1, 0, double, uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So what we did, we underlined the codes which are asked. What next? See, we need to decode this or basically we need to find the encoding function for this particular code. So what you need to go, what you need to do, Go to the top of the table, go to the top of the table and check what is the encoding function for this particular code. 
whatever is the encoding function for this particular code will become the encoding function for this code that's it what is the procedure go at the top of the table whatever is the encoding function for this is the encoding function for this so what is the encoding function for this a triple one zero let us check zero triple one zero sorry zero triple one zero the encoding function is e zero one therefore e zero one is the encoding function for this also there can be more than one codes for e01 this is the code e01 this is the code that is perfectly okay let's repeat this procedure for the other two entries 1010 let's go to the top of the table 10101 let us check what is the encoding function for 10101 whatever will be the encoding function for 10101 that will be the encoding function for this sequence also for 10101 uh, 10101 the encoding function is e10 therefore the E10 will be the encoding function for this particular sequence. What is the next? Last sequence. 10011. Go to the top. 110011. 110011 is what? E11. So E11 will be the code for this particular sequence. Is this clear? That's it. We're done with the problem. I hope this is clear. In the next video, we'll discuss one more example. Thank you.